What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we're jumping back into standard and we're trying out something that probably will not work. This one is very, very silly. This is all essentially based around Divine Visitation. Uh, so Divine Visitation, if you don't know, enchantment 5 mana. Uh, if one or more creature tokens would enter the battlefield under your control or be created under your control, I should say. Uh, instead, you make that many 4-4 white angel creature tokens with flying and vigilance instead. So uh, the idea is using a bunch of, of little kind of token generator cards, we're able to get a lot of 4-4 angels out and hopefully win the game pretty quickly. Uh, we do a little bit of like controly stuff as well as a little bit of life gain stuff as well to hopefully keep us in the game and make this happen. Uh, but essentially the idea is the big token generators in the deck. Uh, Nadir Kraken, pretty obvious one. This card is a must answer kind of always. Uh, it's just very, very powerful. Uh, we do have two Dawn of Hope in here. Um, as a way to not only get a little bit of card draw, uh, but also uh, be able to spit out some tokens as well. And these are actually just good at any point in the game. So even if you don't have Divine Visitation, these do kind of supply you with a little bit of a backup plan. Um, and what's nice is actually when you create the token, uh, and if you pay the two to draw a card, you can also trigger the Nadir Kraken and get an extra one. So uh, you do have to have the mana for it, but it's kind of a nice little uh, include there. Um, we do have Birth of Miletus as a way to just get a 0-4 wall out, which could be turned into a 4-4 angel, of course. Uh, Elspeth's Son's Nemesis, a very, very cool card for this deck. Uh, being able to spit out two 4-4s, four essentially, uh, is great. Uh, but on top of that, obviously, just gaining some life and then powering up your current creatures is not a bad way to go either. Uh, and then Mesmerizing Benthid, which is a card that you probably don't see in Standard hardly ever. Uh, it's a 4-5 for 5. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you create two 0-2 blue illusion creature tokens. Uh, with, whenever this creature blocks a creature, that creature doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Excuse me. Uh, so this is actually kind of a nice little tempo card on its own. Uh, this also gets hexproof as long as you control an illusion, uh, which is really, really nice and a bit of a nonbo actually with the divine visitation. But uh, it actually works really, really well just as a, you know, for five mana, you get a four five and then ideally two four four flying with vigilance. I think that's good enough. Um, so very, very powerful there. Uh, as far as um, kind of controlling elements, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, we also have raised the alarm. I don't remember if I mentioned that. Uh, as far as controlling elements go, really the big pieces, we've got this um, kind of Madomize prophecy, prophecy card, uh, which isn't really like a super controlly card, don't get me wrong, but um, it does give you a way to draw a little bit extra, uh, scry a little bit, and then of course look at the top card of each player's deck. Uh, to kind of get a gauge on what your opponent's trying to do. Uh, more importantly, we have Elspeth Conquers Death. So this is very, very good in the deck. Obviously a great way to bring stuff back, but also deal with stuff on the opponent's side. Uh, to keep us in the game, we've got things like Revitalize. Opt is going to help us draw some cards. And then Brought Back, which is an interesting card. Uh, there are combos with this, but not really in this deck. Um, I, I mean, there are combos in this deck, but um, the idea here is just to be able to, you know, if they sweep the board, you leave up your broad back and you can kind of get everything uh, back onto the battlefield. So really interesting kind of card, but I like it. Uh, in terms of lands, we are just at our standard 24. So two Castle Ardenvale to help us spit out some tokens. Uh, two Castle Vantress, five planes, three islands, uh, four Hollow Fountain, four Light Enlightenment Temples, and then four Fabled Passage. So that's the deck. Uh, it's interesting. Probably not going to work, uh, if I'm honest. But, you know, I was like, it's the end of the week. We've been having a really fun week uh, with a lot of, like, very silly decks. So I was like, oh, let's keep the ball rolling. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, Breaking the Bot kind of mini-series thing that I started yesterday. I thought that was really fun. <laughs> um, it's kind of ridiculous, like it's very, very silly, but uh, I had a good time with it. Um, we, if, if you must, if you if you didn't watch it, I would suggest you go watch it. It's a very the the whole point of it is to literally just break the bot. Uh, so break Sparky or whatever the name of the uh, the bot is. Um, unfortunately, we didn't technically break it. Uh, I kind of thought we did, hence the little, like, sequence where I'm just sitting there, like, waiting on stuff to happen. Um, but, uh, we, we did a pretty good number on it, so it was fun. <clears throat> My hope here is that we can just stay alive long enough. We've got the Divine Visitation, we also have the Elspeth, so, like, 
we got some options here. Um, and as long as we can clog up the board on the early side with these little, you know, zero fours, we might actually be okay. Uh, let's play another Birth of Miletus here. These are so good at just keeping us in the game. I love that. Um, we'll play out a planes here. And technically, we should have played the planes first. That way, we could have opted. Bit of a misplay on my end, but not the worst thing in the world. Um, next turn, we can just play out Elspeth, but I, I have a feeling we don't really want to do that. Uh, Elspeth just kind of dies if we do that. It'd be great to be able to uh, play that after the Divine Visitation, just to make sure that we get something out there. Uh, Elspeth Conquers Death, nice little backup plan too. If they've got um, a removal spell, like a Banishing Light or something along those lines, we have a way to uh, to kind of deal with it. Um, this does hit any permanence, so on the opponent's side, which is great. Uh, chances are we just opt first here, to be honest. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, be great to get like a Kraken, uh, but we can't play it yet anyway, so not the worst thing in the world if we don't. Oh, okay. Well, we'll play this out there. This is such a random deck. Like, these are cards that you would never see, for the record. <laughs> uh, brought back. Um, I don't think we actually need either of those. I think we'd like a, like, a, a more solid token generator, um, like an Indier Kraken, just to get us moving forward there. Um... So we have to, this is kind of a tricky card, so we do have to make sure that we play it in the right order here. Um, I think we do want to name Elspeth. That's very good. Uh, we could also just try and remove that. We'll see. That's just a very powerful card. That's going to very quickly kill us if we don't do anything about it. Um, maybe we play, maybe we name Divine Visitation, um, because next turn we'll probably end up playing it. Um, we just don't have anything in our graveyard, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and do this. Get that out of there. We're doing a good job of just staying alive, though, I will say. Uh, and we do have worth noting the Castle Ardenvale to just start spitting out some angels. Oh, yeah, I guess that works. Um, fair enough. You got it. <clears throat> so we play Divine Visitation out, draw two cards. Uh, hopefully get something good. But we'll see. Uh, chances are we won't have anything for the graveyard for Elspeth Conquer's Death, so maybe I played that in an inopportune time. Um, but that's fine. We'll figure it out. That's so good. Um... So we'll play this first and then see what we draw. <clears throat> Another divine visitation. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. Um Let's take the opportunity to play the temple. I think that's the best bet. Um actually going to keep that. It's not great, but it does just keep us in the game a little bit uh, by mitigating some damage here. We're going to take a hit. I mean, it's a big hit. So, at minimum six. Blech. Uh, and they can start stacking those counters, obviously, which is going to be bad for us. Um, yep. Excuse me. Okay. Well. Yep. So can we actually live here? Now, very little chance we can actually live. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. Elspeth Conquer's death is actually pretty good. Um... All right, let's do this. Yes, no, 
Get a couple four fours. I am proud of and we revitalize. Gain three draw. Uh, play out Castle Arden Vale. It's the best we can do. Um, we do have Elspeth Conqueror's death, so we might be able to get rid of this Heliod here at some point. But um, we're definitely going to be taking a pretty big hit here, uh, and we might just die. Ooh, yeah. Gets an angel out, so now I think we do just die, right? <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. Um. So obvious blocks. This has to block here. This has to block here. So eight, nine. So we just die, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So no, we can actually get rid of this. I think that's the best we can do. I mean, we could block one more damage, but I don't think that actually matters. All right, well. <laughs> yep. Um, so we do get a kind of cool, interesting play here. Um, next turn, so we can play Divine Visitation minus Elspeth, uh, if we want, and then we get more tokens. Um, so that is worth noting. Uh, we still don't have a great, great start here though, not gonna lie. So if we do this, that's fine, but that's not amazing. If we do that, we're definitely dead. Hmm. Let's start with Opt. Huh. That might save us. In a very strange way, that might save us. So let's do this. Get two tokens. Do this, get two tokens. Okay, so these... Yeah. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Alright, so now, yeah, we're just dead. Alright, we put up a fight. Enough of a, I mean, they're at 56, but we were close, I will say, to stabilizing. <laughs> that was kind of fun, though. Uh, all right, let's jump into game two, see how we do. Uh, hopefully a little better than that, but uh, we we did what we were trying to do. We just weren't quite quick enough, um, and that's fine. All right. <laughs> oh. Definitely can't keep this. Uh, doubling up on blue mana with a hand that's entirely white does not work. So we'll have to throw that one back. Uh, this we can keep. Um, weirdly, it might be Divine Visitation that we put back here. Uh, I know that's kind of counterproductive, but um, these are all cards we can play, and that's not. So uh, we'll actually keep that. It's a nice little... Uh, Starter card here. Let's go ahead and do that. Just ensures that we get a plane, so now we've got our fourth land. That's that's a nice little start here. Okay. Notoriously, if this is just Sultai Ramp, uh, we have a very bad matchup against that. Anything with an Ugin is going to be very tricky. Um, just historically, that's always going to be a rough matchup. Um, hmm. Let's play out the Kraken. This is kind of an answer, like a card that they do need to answer pretty quickly. Um, I'm sure they can, but. Okay. Don't really know why they're attacking. It's kind of useless. Um,. Let's tap the blue here. Let's throw this out there. Let's revitalize. That's good. Uh, and we'll spit out a token. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. It's fine by me. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, trying to think in this instance, I think if they just re, uh, or excuse me, animate a, uh, a land, we just block it with a 1-1. One, one. Maybe we don't. Hmm. 
I could see both sides of that. Um, wow. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, that's a huge, huge setback. All right. Well, we knew it was going to happen, but I do think we block here. Um, these one ones are not going to do anything. So might as well save ourselves that damage. That's a hiccup. Ugh. Yep. Another Nissa, sure. Uh, let's do this. Scry two. Hmm. It's not great. Um, we can't opt this turn. We gotta wait. Uh, yeah. I don't love this, but. It is what it is. Whoops. That's very good, too. We'll draw that. That's fine. Another casualties of war. Okay, well. Yeah. Yep. Be wary of the ground. I mean, that doesn't doesn't tremendously matter, I don't think. Um All right. Well, we birth of Miletus first. Get this. Get this. And then we just pass. Um, so we're able to raise the alarm in response here and just block, but uh, chances are we're just dead. Um, yeah, we knew this deck was ambitious, right? That's fine. Um, sure. We wait for them, though, because ugh, we can't wait for them, I guess, now, can we? All right. Doesn't really matter, we're definitely gonna die. <laughs> so now they get to blow up land. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and concede. <laughs> Alright. Moving on. Game three. Let's see if we can get one win. That's our goal with this deck, is just to get a win. This was an ambitious deck. Uh it's it was a fun one that we found on Aether Hub. Um uh, not created by us. In fact, I, I wish I knew who made it. Uh, it the idea behind it's really fun, um, but it's just kind of silly. I don't think it's um, obviously it's not super competitive, but it is. You know, at its core, it's a very fun deck. I love token decks, as you guys know. I've been pushing Anointed Procession like crazy this week, so um, it's just fun to be able to uh, to try something out here. All right, let's do that. Pretty strong, easy start with an opt. Turn two, we've got Dawn of Hope. Uh, and then we just have to hope to stay alive. Uh, gonna ditch that. Earth is great. So I think actually what we'll do is we'll start with Birth. Um, go ahead and pull out a Plains here. And then spit out that 0-4 wall to hopefully uh, mitigate some damage here. And then we can Dawn of Hope if we'd like. Um, or just Elspeth. Uh, against a deck like this, you know, Elspeth isn't really the worst thing in the world just to be able to spit out some 1-1s. One sure. Uh, if we live long enough, we can beat this deck. That's very, very, like, possible. Um, yeah, we spit out a Dawn of Hope, and then we throw out this. So then next turn, we don't have to shock ourselves. Can get something down here, hopefully. Um, gaining a couple life next turn as well, which is nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, I really wish we could play these in reverse order. <laughs> um, but I don't think we'll have that ability this time. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. 
This Calamity deck is brutal. For sure. Uh, I'm going to decline. Let's do this. I'm just going to spit out a couple tokens here. Um, understanding that this is not necessarily the the most optimal play for our deck, but it's the one that keeps us alive the longest, I think. So that's why we're we're handling it that way. Um, they can still like really do some damage here, but... Uh, and if they have like an Ember Cleave, then they really can do some damage, but... Okay. So we may be able to take out at least these Scorch Spitters, but if they do have the, uh, the Ember Cleave, then they just kind of get us. Uh, I'm guessing that they do. Yep. Yep, yep. Well. Then I think we're just gonna die. <laughs> they have the Rimrock Knight as well. So we get to Divine Visitation. Um, but they just like kill us off the face of this, don't they? We could have game five life, but that's not enough. I mean, it's the best we can do. Um, but they've got the Rimrock Knight to give this extra, extra power here. Oh, all right. Well, we're just dead. We'll, we'll let them do their thing. All right, guys. Well, we didn't get there. Unfortunately, um, we're gonna try again. We'll have three more games obviously so do stay tuned for that I love the idea of this deck knowing going into it that this was not gonna be a super competitive one So this isn't a surprise, but I do want to at least try and get one win with it I think it's a really fun idea to be able to get um, Kind of an Azorius build around the tokens uh, And so you get a little bit of nice card draw in blue like things like that that we don't normally get in these kinds of decks So uh, we'll see hopefully we will be able to get there, but I appreciate you guys support Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon for part two.